very first deep freeze drive in my GT350 and I'm gonna do it with the summer wheel and tire package uh, it's 23 degrees this morning it is absolutely freezing you guys are probably gonna hear the wind uh, wind gusts are about 30 miles an hour it is absolutely freezing the car has been warming up for about 15 minutes uh, I'm just gonna do this quick test I want to see how these uh, Pilot 4S's are going to do below 40 degrees. Um, I'm pretty confident, but I'm not that confident. We're going to go over to the tire, and I'll show you guys here. I mean, the tires are hard as a rock already, you know, and I'm putting all my body weight on the screwdriver. They're hard as a rock. Uh, tire pressure hasn't changed. I'm still running 34 PSI. Uh, oil temp, the car's been running for about 15 minutes. The oil temp's only about 120 degrees right now. And uh, you guys are probably going to hear it in the audio, uh, all the wind. But uh, it is absolutely freezing this morning. I'm going to strap the camera in the car, go for a ride. I'm going to warm the tires up a little bit. And then I'm going to see how these tires are going to do uh, when I start getting on it a little bit aggressively. If, the, if they're going to be all over the road, like all the summer tires, and especially the original Pilot Super Sports, because uh, I'm very familiar with what that tire does. And anything below 40 degrees, it's kind of dangerous when you get on the car hard. So stay tuned. Let me strap the camera in the car. I'm going to let the car warm up a little bit. We're going to go for a drive. All right, guys, got the car warmed up a little bit and uh, just drove around locally for about 15 minutes just to warm up the tires. It is cold as hell in New York this morning. It's about quarter to seven uh, the temperatures are below freezing we got wind gust up to about 30 miles an hour it's like a total deep freeze today <laughs> in the second week of November it's crazy and uh, I got my winter jacket on and it sucks but one thing I want to point out um, with my heavy winter coat with the GT350 you know Recaro seats totally comfortable to drive with the standard Mustang Recaro seats, very uncomfortable to drive with a heavy down winter jacket. So if anybody out there uh, is on the fence about seats to get in the car, think about that if you're going to drive your car all, all year round like I do. And a lot of you guys do. But uh, the tires are hard as a rock. I feel it already. The car is bumpier. That's just because of the temperature drop. The tire compound just gets really, really hard. And that's why they do not recommend summer tires in these temperatures. But I'm just doing this for a test, uh, primarily because this is a brand new Michelin tire compound. And just from physically feeling the tire and how sticky and soft it is, it's very different than a Pilot Super Sport, very different than a Pirelli P0. Uh, I just wanna see what it does, I really do. I wanna warm them up and see how this car does in the deep freeze temps. So this is the first time I'm driving the GT350 in these temperatures. And it's not, not something I'm looking forward to either, but this is what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna just get the radio off. So I noticed already with the cold temperatures, uh, there's a lot more rattles from the plastic in the car. That's normal. I mean, pretty much any car in the winter, especially on New York roads, is gonna do that. I don't care if you have a Lexus, a Mercedes, a Mustang. So that just comes with the territory. I'm gonna be honest guys, so far I don't feel I don't feel any slippage coming from the back of the car. The engine is running really, really great right now. I mean I you know any kind of high performance motor loves really cold air. Uh, even forced induction motors. So you can't really beat that. The engine did not sound very happy when I fired it up this morning. Uh, the engine temp was like 40 degrees. It took 15 minutes to get the oil temp up. Now look, we're not even at 200 yet. I've been driving for over 15 minutes, plus I let it warm up for 15 minutes. So uh, let me go to the gauge. And our oil temp is 160, trans temp is 70. The air temp coming into the engine is 
listed as 36, and the cylinder head temp is 180. do some hard stops as well I just want to see you know how this car is gonna react it's absolutely freezing out right now and uh, it's gonna be cold into the weekend I believe and then next weekend it's gonna warm up in the 50s again so talk about the crazy weather system that the entire world is dealing with these days it's absolutely nuts I just hit that bump in the highway. Yeah, we do have speed bumps in the middle of a highway in New York. <laughs> and uh, you definitely feel it a little bit more. So, you know, the ride comfort that I talked about in all my other videos is definitely degraded a little bit with the cold temps. You know, I hear a lot more plastic and a lot more noises in the car. But uh, I want to try to keep focused on the driving dynamics of the car and the grip. And look, I'm at 45 through that turn. Total confidence. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. With the Pilot Super Sports on any of my cars, whether it was the BMW, the AMG, my CTSVs, whatever, all, all the cars that I've had, even customers' cars, if you pushed it hard on a day like today, that tire would snap and you lose control. Especially when those tires, you know, were worn about 30% into their wear cycle. Alright, look at this, look at these idiots. Idiots! That's why having a good car with good grip an outstanding braking system and very good active safety built into the dynamics of the car especially driving where I drive where everybody has road rage and everybody drives like a lunatic it just you know you become a little bit more of a defensive driver and if you have a car that doesn't react as such you're just more prone to uh, getting into trouble especially if you're in like a minivan or an SUV and uh, you know you have to do a panic maneuver. I wouldn't want to be in one of those vehicles during a panic maneuver. Oh man, the power that this car is making now, and like I said, the engine just loves this cold air. I can feel the wind throw in the car right now. And this car is a little bit lower to the ground with the different wheels and tires, but it's so windy out today. And on this highway, we get a lot of cross winds. And look, it's it's pushing my car into the other lane a little bit. And I wasn't doing that yesterday. But we're doing about 75 right now. And it's it's tram lining a little bit. It's pulling, but a lot of that's the wind. Just got the oil temp up to almost 200. Oil pressure is good. You guys might hear some of the noises. Uh, the car, the interior road noise just from, the, from rolling on the highway has gotten much louder since the tires are hard as a rock. I mean, it's, it's a little all over the road with the wind. God, it's windy today. Now we're about 80. I mean, I feel some looseness in the back of the car. Uh, not like it's slipping or anything. I just It just feels a little unstable. And that could just be the aerodynamics and, and the wind that's uh, causing the car to be pushed all over the road. I'm going to switch it into sport mode right now. I'm going to do a hard stop right here 
Hang on. Oh my god. Wow. Jesus, I felt that I felt that in my chest. Oh my god, even in the cold temps, these freaking tires are incredible. Alright, let's hit this here. Alright, traction control kicked in. Kicked in again. I cannot believe that these tires below freezing are biting like this. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. This is insane. A lot of guys are commenting and sending me emails like, hey, man, I love your videos on these tires. I'm really thinking about getting them uh, versus an all season. And you already saw my video, if you guys follow my channel, on how good these tires are in the rain. And uh, and now I'm showing you how good they are in 20, 23 degree temps, way below freezing. Holy God damn. I mean, like I was saying in my first initial video when I threw them on the car, you know, with the Project 6GR wheels, oh, the trade-offs, the little lower sidewall, you know, all of this other crap. Dude, man, the increase in grip and performance and everything else that this tire is going to do to your car, I don't care what car you put them on. You put them on a Mercedes, BMW, Porsche, Shelby, doesn't matter. I mean, I just can't believe it. I actually have a headache from that hard stop right now. That's how hard that thing jolted my body. Oh my God. Whew. Man, I am impressed. Very, very impressed. So, like I said, on the highway, car's totally safe, totally secure. No issues there. Hey, you know what's funny? The brake squeal has now changed. <laughs> Instead of becoming a very high-pitched, constant squeal, now it's like a little drawn-out squeal. So I'm going to pull the brakes, uh, the front calipers off in the next couple of days, and I'm going to do a video on what I'm going to do to that, clean them up, put them back in, and let's hope that that cures the brake squeal issue. Um, believe it or not, I, I think the brake squeal may have something to do with the different wheel cleaners I'm using, and you may not think that's uh, a cause, but it really is. Wheel cleaners could contaminate your brake pads and uh, cause an issue, and I think that might be the issue. And I think the brake cleaner, not, not the brake, the wheel cleaner that may have caused that is the car guy's wheel cleaner that I tested in my video last week. Because I, I definitely would not expect that from the Grayo's Garage Cleaner. And I haven't been using anything else. So right now, uh, I did the test on the Car Guys Cleaner. I used it four times, ran out, didn't buy anymore. And um, I'm using the Grayo's Garage Original Cleaner, which is probably the least caustic and harsh cleaner you're going to get. All right, guys, we're on the move again. I literally have, a, like, a headache from that, that hard stop. It, like, jolted my neck really bad. Man. I'm going to put it in track mode right now just because I want to see what it's going to do. Look at that. It's track mode, guys. No traction control. And car still sticks like glue. So I'm doing a lot of these videos uh, because like I said, I, I enjoy doing the testing for myself as a car guy and an enthusiast and someone that's been around this for so long uh, as a performance engineer. And I wanted to share this with you guys out there because there's going to be a lot of guys that you know they're on the fence on what they do to their cars you know what tire to put on what wheel to put on maybe this car's not right for them all year round and I'm, I'm going to prove you guys a little bit of a different scenario on, on this channel and I hope you guys are getting a little bit of a glimpse of that This, this car. 
car is like glue, man. It is like glue. I mean, the interior noise has gotten, I would say, 30 to 40% louder. <laughs> Just with the temperature change. And if I put the, uh, the Pirelli Winter Soto Zeros on, it gets much quieter and much more comfortable. Because that's, like I said, that's a totally different tire and compound. And then we have the heavier OEM wheels, which also helps isolate a lot of the harshness and noise. I mean, I hope, you, hope the audio picks all this up. So I tried to break the car loose so far many, many times unsuccessfully. <laughs> I had the traction kick in twice, and uh, still, I, I can't believe it. With my 2015 GT Performance Pack in the cold, the car was dangerous. It really was. The traction control system was decent, but it wasn't that good. And with all the aftermarket modifications I did on that car, that car was dangerous. Dangerous in the rain, dangerous in the cold. Uh, but with the Blizzak tires, the car was pretty damn good. It was actually really damn good. So it just shows you, like, you know, I always had the Pilot Super Sports on, I had four sets of wheels on my GT Performance pack. And I had 20s, I had 19s. And the Pilot Super Sports, great tire, you know, when the temperatures are right and the driving conditions are right. But I, I wasn't in love with that tire. I didn't think it was the best tire in the rain. It wasn't the most comfortable tire. And uh, when the temps dropped, it was a little sketchy. So I'm going to let these cars go. I'm going to roll back. I'm going to see the traction loss. I'm going to do a hard launch right here. So let's let these cars go. All right. I mean, look at that. You know, I'm launching the car. Now, usually on the one-two shift in the cold, on any rear-wheel drive performance car with a summer tire, that second gear shift is going to make the back end of the car do this. It's not doing it. The contact patch is so big. The tires are so sticky. so damn sticky and the streets are so damn cold you know they're kind of defeating themselves that's the physics involved here do a hard stop again look at that <laughs> this is incredible man and I'm in track mode I don't use winter mode in my cars. Because when you use winter mode in your cars and you're in the snow and it cuts power and your ABS is locking your wheels and you're on a hill, <laughs> you'll realize it and you'll say, you know what? Don't use winter mode again. Use track mode, turn everything off and become a better driver by learning how to control the car. That's my thought on defensive driving and winter driving. All right, 50 mile an hour hard stop. Stopping distance is a little longer than in the rain and in the dry, okay? I'm talking like marginal, maybe 5% greater. So it's not something to, uh, not something to worry about. Try to break the tires loose again. Look at that. The car's perfectly straight. Perfectly straight. It's not going sideways. Man, 
I'm impressed, man. So, all right, guys, I got to get over to work. Hope you guys like this video. I will ensure you that I am the only one with a Shelby GT350 with this wheel and tire package or with this car in general driving it at 23, 23 degree temps in the Northeast right now. This uh, video gives you some guys some good feedback on these tires and tire selection, man. I swear Michelin should give me a plug and they should send me a set of free tires for all these videos I'm making on this stuff. But hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe. Uh, got much more content coming. Stay tuned.